are asking for speed bumps in their neighborhoods, and the city is planning to add more. In the Morton Meadows neighborhood, some people are concerned that they're seeing increased speeding near 48th and Woolworth. 6 News' Johan Marin spoke to city officials and reports on what it takes to qualify for a speed bump. 48th Street, there does tend to be um, a lot of speeding. Um, people tend to get frustrated in the morning uh, during school drop-off, pickup that kind of thing. Kelsey Tooley, resident of Morton Meadows, often takes her kids outside to play on their front lawn. She tells us she constantly sees cars that won't stop for people in the crosswalk by her house. Especially in the evenings, you hear people drag racing down the street. Six News spoke to other parents in the neighborhood who say they're also worried for their kids' safety. There are no speed bumps on Woolworth or South 48th Street, and there's an elementary school and a high school at the intersection. It is an extra level of concern because, um, you know, people are on their phones or they're not paying attention. Tooley and other residents hope speed bumps can be added to the area, but there are a few steps needed to be taken before the city would install any. First, a property owner of the neighborhood needs to contact the city to come out and investigate whether speeding occurs in the neighborhood. More than 1,000 vehicles need to travel that segment of road per day, and the measured 85th percentile speed needs to be um, five or more miles per hour above the posted speed limit. Then the city needs a petition that needs to be signed by two thirds of the neighborhood residents. All of that can take a while, but once complete, installation can begin. Jeff Rizzleman, a city traffic engineer, says they've already added 11 speed bumps in city neighborhoods this year, and they plan to add more. We do get a lot of requests. We send out a couple hundred petitions every year. Tully hopes one of those requests will come from her neighborhood. They're not going 20 miles an hour. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I don't think a speed bump would be a bad thing. On your side, Johan Marin, 6 News. And if you're interested in seeing if your neighborhood qualifies for a speed bump, you can find more information on our website, WOWT.com.